Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with episode 46, part one, A Storm of Memories. I just popped up the thumbnail, and I see Ashley Johnson. That leads me to believe we're going to get Ashley Johnson. However, either Brian is trying to fake me out, or the thumbnail is just based on the fact that Yasha is going to be important in this next episode. Why do I think this? We just finished Talks Machina, and in that episode... Brian at the end was saying that January 8th of whatever year that was, I believe it was going into 2020, maybe 2019, but I feel like it was going into 2020. I said how I looked up the episodes when they were released, and the last couple before that and after that were all dropped on December 20th, 2019. So I have to assume they were dropped in a group. Obviously, they weren't all filmed on the same day. It's impossible, being as they film each episode live on Thursdays. So my guess is they must have just did a content drop. They must have changed something and then in, at a future date dropped it all. Either way, in that episode of Talks Machina, we got a lot of cool questions and answers. But Brian at the end said, Sam, would you be able to make it January 8th? We're going to have a get together. And I looked and the next episode of Talks Machina is called The Campaign 2 So Far. It is in episode 46. I'm sure they're going to talk about episode 46, but I think they're going to talk about everything all together. And Brian said, everybody's going to try to make it. But he said, I know Ashley won't be able to make it. Was he tricking us? AKA surprise Ashley Johnson is part of episode 47 and we're going to get her on Talks Machina with the entire group. Maybe that's why they did a group event. Maybe Brian knew this is the best time to do it because Ashley's going to be around. We'll have the whole group come together. Sam was joking around. He was like putting in his voice reminder or something like, yo, remember to not come into work. Don't call off of work on the 8th or something like that. Either way. I thought it was interesting that tomorrow is January 8th in real life, but I believe I am four or five years ahead of where they are. It is 2023. We have just had New Year's. Let's just jump in. The way we ended it was we were in this happy fun ball, chamber of secrets, hundreds of chambers, or I think Matt said exactly a hundred. We've seen three so far. We are allowed to dive in and out as we see fit. Matt said it was not his intentions for Twiggy to give us the ball, the happy fun ball at the end, but she did. And now we have options. But Matt's like, I had a bunch of ideas for it. I'm sure Matt can improvise or come up with more if needed. I love it. I hope we dive into the happy fun ball on occasion. Whenever we have downtime, if we're sailing around, we got a week to, you know, just do whatever. Happy fun ball. He also said, Matt Mercer said in Talks Machina that Yasha wasn't too happy that we all disappeared for six, seven days, I believe it was. Let's just jump in and find out. It's only going to be about a 10 minute part one and part two. There is only an hour and 22 minutes before the live stream. So I'm going to do the hour Patreon. Patreon always gets the hour exclusive. I'm going to break it in half like I normally do, but we're barely getting 10 minutes for part one and two. You guys want to see more of what I do, full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons edit what you're seeing, hundreds of exclusives you'll only see on Patreon. The link is at the end. Dozens of shows you'll never see on YouTube. I just don't have time to edit it all. Doctor Who, Person of Interest, the Patreon hour exclusive of every episode. Hundreds of shows, thousands of episodes, hundreds of movies, all in full. Check the link at the end. If not, Camping 2, episode 46, part one. I started it there because I was going to show you guys something and I totally forgot. But the and dragon in the intro. So. Is the dragon in the intro. Last we left off. The dragon. The Mighty Nine have been making their way through fought. the Sylvania Islands. I doubt Islands it because it looks red. In ocean after vanishing from the Island of Darktoe with the damaged uh, squall eater. Vanishing from the Island of Darktoe. The ball eater. <laughs> the ball yeah, eater, that's right. We um, named our ship the ball eater. Managed and to Twiggy, escape from the, the uh, diver's the grave side. and the, the ship graveyard that it turned out to be, as well as the entity that lived there. You had acquired uh, another sphere of Ukatoa. You had. Oh, Ukatoa. Ukatoa. We have Ukatoa. lots <laughs> to recap. <laughs> uh, and upon making your way. <laughs> upon making your way. I'm making your way to the the, the Bisaft Eye Matt is like, Hush. to get repairs for your ship. And I don't blame him. He's like, we got uh, the ocean. shit to do. Uh, you discovered that you had a stowaway who had followed you on the ship since Darktoe. Uh, the delightful gnome named Twiggy befriended you and revealed the item of which had sent her on her path to becoming the a stowaway. The happy fun boy. Uh, the strange clockwork 
arcane sphere that she seemed to have stolen from an auction house to keep away from a bad man. Uh, upon toying with this sphere, you go. discovered that it seemed to have some high. sort of planar uh, elements, bits of conjuration magic to it, and was dispensing coins and uh, cold weather attire and a little more coins uh, and tweaking cold sent to you attire. somewhere else. The present party was transported to some extra planar uh, dungeon, if you will, an abode of hundred plus rooms that apparently belonged to a mage from long ago. Upon exploring and making your way through the various traps and tricks, you managed to avoid a few pitfalls, trigger a few others, um, gather a few objects, fight a cabinet, fight a cabinet. find some books, Beauty and the Beast style, and end up Love it. teleported in a scattered fashion into the realm of a young blue dragon. A lot happened real fast. Yeah. A lot um, happened very by, fast. By, for like, Two of you, by the skin of your fucking teeth, you all managed to figure out the way to trigger the exit and escape in time, with Twiggy dealing a final blow to the dragon on the way out, um, of which some of you may believe her, as no one was present to watch it happen. Uh, after which, you made your way, or you realized that you'd been missing for six days, that there was some time dilation six days. I between thought he said the seven. time you spent in the sphere, or at least I within thought a few we were chambers in the days. sphere. I don't the think it matters, but. The crew had been waiting for a number of days, the repairs had been completed, on Bisaft Isle, and uh, you guys decided to call it an evening and rest up, lick your wounds, and our wounds. reflect over what has transpired just in the past day, the past week, past month, who knows. But with most of you going to a rest, and uh, by the time Matt recaps, thesis, we're going to be halfway through up this to the part. Top of the ship to calm it's a nice recap. and discuss these things, you all called it a night. So, Mighty Nine, as you are still at dock on Bisaft Isle. What would you like to do the following morning? Ooh, Talzin redid his hair. Hey, where's Laura? Uh, well, it doesn't say a, it's a long night's sleep because there's a lot of recovery. So I'll say like without any sort of there. I think she just went to the bathroom. Uh, necessary reference to wake you up for an early point. You we also sleep don't have a spot for Ashley, oh. so I don't know if Ashley is coming. Hey. Hi guys. Hi Laura. Nice hey. job. Now meet. Now we just started and we just slept up. in all the way till noon. Oh, yeah, that would be really What is nice. she eating? Is that spaghetti and bean pills? <laughs> That's a nice haver sack she has. I, I like her actual sack. It's got like some kind of purple string. Well, it looks like um, she's eating spaghetti and bean pills. I can't tell. I suppose we should uh, kind of mosey out and get the lay of the land, as it were. I can okay, Wilson Brimley. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Wilson Brimley. I am like, this is why I slept real heavy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yes, we should go walk around. We could use some solid land. That'd be nice. Whose donut is this? I mean, that's mine. This one's yours. Sweet. <laughs> Whose donut is this? How funny was that? I didn't I know there was a donut it. in there. It just said, don't touch. What else would it be? I love it. <laughs> she Before looks dinner? right. She just yeah. sat down. <laughs> And the first fair, thing she asks is, is whose donut is this? <laughs> After setting down an entire oh, plate full Maybe of food, look at some books she sat leave. down an entire plate of food um, do and immediately goes, whose donut island? is that? Is it I'm much? guessing because she yeah. had a donut. You know a little bit. You've passed that she knew was waiting for her. I just think it's funny. That's islands, where her mind goes. For the most part, it's I love it. I think it's great. Not really cultivated. The jungles here are fairly thick. Um, the fruit trees and exotic creatures. It would make be like if I had like six beers port, in front of me, also a dangerous and I sit down. I'm like, into. who's uh, who's um, bourbon's that? Because uh, I would do it. I would do the same thing. That's why most I'm of the coastal areas, except for on the south, which is where uh, the actual uh, town of uh, Bazaar Port is, which is where you guys are currently set. Um, it's you do know that because it's. Uh, it's a cluttered, tends to be a favorite spot for contraband out in the jungle, but the creatures that live there are pretty dangerous, mm -hmm. so most people avoid that. Um, there are some remaining signs of the Kina people that uh, used to be indigenous to these islands before they all became part of the Clovis Concord. The Clovis um, Concord. That's about all you know. I mean, it's a small village, maybe like 800 people or so. Yeah, I'll relay all that stuff <clears throat> in my own tongue uh, and say, you know, it, I'm sure there, there's stuff. It, it, it kind of grows a little bit each time I come by here, so you know it could be new stuff I haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. Worth a look. Mm -hmm. I, I think that I will stay behind on the boat, but I think you should go. If you see any um, uh, incense, 
I would uh, oh, appreciate it if you picked some up. You're going to just stay? Are you going to go look through the stuff that we got? Yeah, probably, yeah. Definitely look through the stuff we got. I mean, we got... We should start doing the Happy Fun Ball Golden Jade trick all the time. We said it that it might be coming from the dragon's loot, but that's our loot now. We killed the dragon. Then you have an easier time getting into them. Did we not open them? I don't think we opened the individual locks on the books. I think you just grabbed the locked books. Uh, Not all of them. I think there. I think a few of them were part of the locking mechanism. Was embedded in the uh, the shelf. I, I think I actually will be all right though. Oh. What and, is I, and I grabbed this one too. It was Marissa's one shirt, the writing is so tiny, I almost feel like it's intentional because it, it says something funny. Yeah, I don't funny. know what it is. It, what I just it picked it up. It seemed like it looks a like thing a bunch of names. Thank, thank you. Yeah, and anytime. What about uh, paper? Aren't you always needing papier? Uh, papier? I don't get the sense that a lot of um, high quality paper and ink makes it to this island, but I have been wrong before, so if you see any, would you bring some back and I will reimburse you? Yeah, of course. I'm just going to take it easy today. All right, fair enough. Uh, Where's Jester? I'm I'm, I'm coming downstairs. Oh. Coming downstairs. Yeah, downstairs from my upstairs cabin. Sure, sure. Sure. Downstairs from my upstairs cabin. I was on my cabin. I slept in the the crow's nest. (laughs) Coming downstairs. How are you doing this morning, Jessica? She's making me hungry. (gasps) I haven't eaten yet today, and it's already almost four o'clock. I have a protein shake in the morning. A very beastly protein shake with much calories. Sure. But that carries me to like dinner. Are you okay? I, I know uh, the, the day's escapades were a bit much, a little it close. A lot, yes. Yeah. It was a lot, yes. You disappeared for it. Yeah, well, you did too. I, every time I popped into wherever I was, I could see you pop in and then pop out, and I kept wanting to like. You know, go like, just make sure you knew we were getting the fuck out. But. Oh, right, in the dragon room, too. I was talking about in the library, though. Yeah, you just oh. vanished. Yeah, well, it was but a I mean, he thing. I just touched it. it. Like, you know, didn't know if it was rough or smooth or cold. Didn't expect to be like, Crash! none of that shit. Mm. Like, boop, boop. Yeah. Maybe I won't do that so much anymore. Probably mm. not. Sometimes you just look at everyone tells him is like, yeah, you probably shouldn't. Yeah, we have already done the blood pact, and he grabbed that thing twice in two episodes. 2019 Ford Escape. A compulsion. Not the most popular model. I just think it's funny. (laughs) You are are a bit handsy. Yeah, you're very handsy, Ford. Are, Are we not all intrigued by things that don't? Belong or seem out of place? Yeah, but you. But we don't grab them. I don't offer a lot of muscle to this group, but I do have a little bit of knowledge. So, you know, in situations like that, just give me a moment to have a look around. Yeah, please, Ford. It isn't the curiosity; it's the fact that you immediately touch it. If not, doesn't touch it. No one should touch it. Not to me is the most curious of anybody. So, if not can restrain, Ford has no excuse. But uh, I'm not bragging on him, but. Stop you know, being hands. I honestly felt like I feel like everyone feels terrible about how that went, but I mean, you know, when you look at it, on went the whole, we did okay. Yeah, we did okay. It could have went way worse. Tugi said that the dragon is actually dead now. So we could take Believe all the loot. Actually. I didn't yeah. even ask what was in the uh, room before I got ripped out of there. Lots of books. Angry furniture. Angry oh, yeah. furniture. Lots of books. A cabinet swallowed. The dragon room was no. filled mm. with gold no. and mm. treasure. We all kind of ran together. That we could probably oh, get by happened. doing the thing. Oh, books, oh, what do you gold guys gold think? Too, Wouldn't you be doing the gold sort of and jay trick every marbles. five minutes you could? Uh, like, dust? as long as we could get something, oh, yeah, I'm doing it. We got a thing of marbles and a thing of ink. Could you get the marbles in the ink? That's nice. Wait a minute. Did, nice. When I disappeared, you didn't immediately come and try and find me. You went and I got did. stuff. I did. Uh, did. Honestly, oh, we were, we're supposed to, to be. Out what had happened? Hmm. Yeah, dude. Sorry, you disappeared well, you by doing something you shouldn't where have. You were and wanted to ascertain. Uh, I wouldn't feel bad at all. Yeah. You grabbed honestly, something man, you shouldn't. When you did that. You were kind of totally alone and by yourself. It. 
Yeah. It took us a minute to figure out what exactly had happened. Not to yeah. mention, what how do we Maybe know you what you did to kill something, you? Or there was some way to uh, what if he it in the room? Was yeah, it wasn't literally like, you know, just extinguished you. You immediately from life? Us. Yeah, yeah you left true. us, my, my dude. My mother was a big believer how in the body system. How dare you, Ford? I'm defending mm. you. Growing up and in you the woods, blame others. body system. God. Oh, I don't always, know. If always, he's always should have a buddy. Should we all? Should we have a buddy? Just should we no, call no, these no. now? God. I call we Caleb. Are, we know. <laughs> well, I just wanted to make sure that I. I, I love Caleb, how Ford. But you guys, maybe you is should the one against up. the buddy system. Oh. Sure. When I'm Ford keep is the my guy. Hands in my pockets going forward into strange new rooms by long dead wizards. We'll just potentially. We'll, we'll make sure that we. Good luck. All right. We're gonna you give Ford the benefit man. of the doubt, but Ford has no right to be no, right? angered <laughs> or, or not want to go along with the plan of a buddy system. Here <laughs> Ooh. Jester, hmm? uh, I hope you know that our, and my intention wasn't to abandon anybody, especially not you. I thought I was gonna have to activate the damn sphere and it was gonna open up a portal or something. I didn't know it was gonna immediately take me away I, from a the fight. I believe I'm sorry. I agree with it. Of course. Guys, we are already up to like 12 to 15 minutes of part one. That seems like a short amount of time, I know, but we don't have a lot of time. There is an hour Patreon exclusive after this, and then I have to stop at 1.32, which leaves me 11 minutes, not even. I have roughly 10 to 11 minutes for part two after the Patreon hour exclusive. So I knew we wouldn't get a lot, but at least we've figured out what we're doing at so far and what we're doing so far is talking to people about being too handsy, AKA Ford. Ford's getting a little defensive. I don't blame him. You should be somewhat defensive, but he's getting blamey. It's one of those things where like you point fingers at people when you're wrong. I just was talking about this. I just reacted to singing in the rain for the first time ever. I saw singing in the rain and I can't remember the specific incident, but there was a guy in that who was basically like, I did wrong, but I'm going to point the finger at you and say you're wrong because I don't want to be the one to blame. And I could do whatever I want because I'm famous, I'm rich, I have the money, I call the shots. How dare you be so horrible and wrong about everything? That's basically what Ford is kind of doing in a very subtle way. I feel like Ford is feeling the pressure of everyone being like, yo, dude, you're, you're handsy. Bo... And Jester are probably Ford's best friends. Bo, I feel like, is is Ford's best friend. And Ford is going like, yo, Goblin, why are you smiling at me? And Bo is like, yo, not for nothing, you're pretty handsy. You're causing situations that could be worse. Like, you disappeared, and then you have the nerve to say, oh, so you guys continued to look for items and search around? You didn't even think about where I could be or, or my, like, well-being? No, sir, because we're not going around touching crap we shouldn't touch. How do we know you're okay? How do we know where you went? What if you got teleported into a pit of spikes and you're dead immediately? I don't know. I'm not going to be as reckless as you and touch your, touch the same things and risk life and death. Caleb said, dude, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm pretty smart. So give me a minute to you know, eye up the the situation before you go grabbing crap. I, I mean, maybe in the end we grab the stuff, but we should probably be doing this as a group, deciding as a group, letting people like Caleb figure the situation out. Caduceus is very perceptive. Caduceus, investigation, great. Like, let people figure things out before you go around touching everything. So then we come up with, hey, maybe we should have a buddy system, and Ford immediately shuts it down. Like, no, 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 no. We don't need buddy systems. I don't like when the people who are the cause of the problem are the first to shut down a possible solution. You should not hush people. You shouldn't be like, ah, 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 You shouldn't hush people when they're trying to come up with solutions for the problems you're bringing to the group. And Ford's solution is, I'll just keep my hands in my pocket next time. Now let's give Ford the benefit of the doubt. I'm not trying to rag on Ford too much. He's like, all right, I'm going to keep my hands in my pocket. I have trouble believing you, sir, because it isn't that I don't think 
you want to. I think you have no control over yourself. It's like a gambler. I used to gamble for a quarter of my life. There was 10 to 12 years of my life where I went to Atlantic City almost like every weekend. High stakes gambler. I still or sometimes gamble on sports, but for the most part, I don't do it anymore. But most, if not much of my life was gambling. And I would have friends that would literally go, here's all my money. Don't let me have my own money. Whatever I say or whatever I tell you, don't give me my own money because I am a degenerate gambler. They would lose their money and literally go up to me and be like, give me my fucking money. I want my fucking money. It's my fucking money. And literally get to the point of physical confrontation because they had no self-control. That, to me, might be stretching it a bit, but that is why when people tell me I won't make the mistake next time, I'll keep my hands in my pocket, I don't trust them because I had some of my best friends literally try to fist fight me over a 100 bucks after telling me, no matter what, don't give me my money. It's very similar to Tropic Thunder, where Jack Black is like, tie me to this tree, and no matter what I say, don't let me go. And then like three hours later, he is withdrawing from drugs, and he's like, I will do whatever it takes. I don't trust it. And I'm not saying Ford is an addicted gambler or an addicted drug addict or something like that. But I don't, we're trying to think of solutions. Let us think of a solution. But right now we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Meanwhile, we're all apologizing to each other, which I don't think is necessary. But I guess, you know, check each other out. Make sure everyone's cool before you move on. I'm down with that. Bo is saying to Jester, yo, you don't think I abandon you, do you? I mean, get it out in the open. Let's figure it out. Let's talk to each other. Make sure there's no ill will between people. Ford, I'm sorry, but I think he needs to, you know, check himself at the door. He's being very rude to people. He's the reason. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean to him, but don't come firing at us when you're the one that's wrong. Don't point the finger when you're the one that created the situation. So everyone's kind of speaking their minds. They're not being too mean. But Ford is probably being the most abrasive of all of them, and he needs to fall in line. You know, he needs to check himself at the door. So I'm going to jump into the Patreon, our exclusive. Then we have part two. Part two is only going to be about 10 or 11 minutes, and then we're in to the live stream on Friday. You guys let me know what you think. You want to see more of what I do. Full on edited episodes, all the shows on the channel. Seasons edit, what you're seeing. Hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link is in front of me. Dozens of shows you'll never see on YouTube. I just don't have time to edit it all. Doctor Who, person of interest. The Patreon, our exclusive of every episode of Campaign 2. Hundreds of shows, thousands of episodes, hundreds of movies, all in full unedited. Check it out. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.